News on the March. Portland, Oregon, December 31st, 1927. The Oriental Theater, Portland's newest of new theaters, opened with the box office smash hit, Moon of Israel. Despite the cold, brisk New Year's Eve weather, the theater's grand opening celebration brought the local dignitaries and celebrities out in force. Seating well over 2,000 patrons and designed on a grand and awesome East Indian motif, the theater will be the first of its kind in the City of Roses. By the looks of the opening night patrons, Portlanders are indeed pleased. This is the Oriental Theater. It represents an era of overindulgence in theatrics, emotions, and fanfare. For the next few minutes, we're going to look at the theater through the recollections of those who knew it, the original organist and a veteran stagehand. For all we know, this may be the moment before the dark. grand opening. It was on a Saturday, December 31st, and 1927, and the uh, weather began to storm, and we had a terrific wind, and we had a, a lineup clear around the block. an idea that when they opened up they'd have a nurse down there and uh, people come see the show and put their kids down there see and they have play things and uh, merry go round up first with my solo and then as I went down the orchestra come up with uh, Joe Schrodka as the director and we had about uh, 15 musicians I think in the pit. Previous to that two men came out dressed as Indians I guess you'd call them I mean uh, India with the turbans and all that stuff and uh, they pulled a few gags they, st they stood on a balcony on either side they made a kind of a harangue back and forth to each other and crashed a couple of cymbals and then, then the show was on its way. Some of the big pictures had a printed cue sheet that a little line of music which just would be a sort of a sample of what you could use. And on some of the pictures, uh, you could hear, you could tell that uh, sort of that uh, 
They were really eating up the picture and getting into the thing, especially the sob pictures. When you been, begin to hear a lot of snuffling and stuff going on around there, then you'd go into a real sad, just milk it. You'd turn around and, and see a lot of handkerchiefs and hear this, this, you know, kind of snorting stuff. And uh, you know that either your music or the picture or both together were, were reaching the spot. engine, fire engine uh, alarm, you know, a uh, reiterating uh, bell, and uh, and you have the train whistle, and you have uh, hoof beats, horses, you know, galloping, and uh, wind, and uh, you have a, a, a crash thing on a, on a sheet of steel, you know, that for their lightning uh, business, the way the organ is situated there, you can get thunder coming right out of the sky. You just lay your hand down on a whole bunch of low notes and let the thunder roll. came in, I didn't have much to do except play checkers backstage with the stage manager. And I stuck my name uh, where I come up the stairway to the organ, and it's still there on uh, December 31st, 1927. That was a wonderful house that was built. I seen the original Uncle Tom's cabin and the original Herman the Great. They had two nice sets of scenery built there for tableaus or vaudeville. At 27, they got the soundtrack on the film, and all vaudeville and all road shows went out. Pretty solid. It ought to stand here for a while. They use it for something. Yes, sir. I've seen a lot of funny things happen in the show. Business. 